Uh, today I'd like to show you how to set up your SharePoint library for email metadata and uh, uh, what resources you can use for that. My name is Saud Erikad. I'm a digital transformation consultant for Caligo. I've been spending the last, uh, I'd say, decade uh, um, quite SharePoint-centric, uh, focusing on SharePoint technologies from the back-end technologies all the way to front-end technologies, focusing a lot on mobility these days. And email management is one of the pillars uh, of what I built my career about, around. So email. Email is a, a resource and uh, email are available left, right, and center in the organization. They are still something that is growing. As you can see here from a um, recent report that the emails worldwide and the email traffic worldwide has a uh, four to five percent growth rate on a yearly basis. Um, of course, that puts enterprises in front of the challenge. How do they handle email? Where do they put email? And how do they store email? Um, we can see here a slide from a recent uh, uh, AIM study that uh, you can see here that approximately 8% of, of organizations that were asked in the study do put their email in SharePoint. Uh, there's a, a, a big lack of uh, um, email archiving, email governance in organizations in this day and age. Um, I work with companies and teams on a daily basis to prepare them for a successful email archiving into SharePoint. And today I'd like to share some considerations of, of these companies that I work with. So why do companies file email to SharePoint? The main reason really is compliance, governance, and, and meeting uh, certain industry uh, standards or uh, industry compliance regulations. Um, in general, I find that email is filed to SharePoint in order to increase visibility and thus take the uh, uh, focus away from the user's inbox and add the email into uh, an area that is accessible to more than just one user. Uh, decentralization at this point is, is, uh, is very important because the moment that the, the email stays in, in my inbox, no one else can access that email. Whereas if I put that email into a document management space like SharePoint, that facilitates accessing that email later. Um, findability, of course, is a, is a very important aspect when it comes to filing email. Uh, obviously, there's a large amount of email out there, and we want to be sure that we can find the email after we actually file them to somewhere. The, the findability aspect is, is very important when it comes to, to metadata, as metadata actually enables and increases findability. So email metadata extraction. One important aspect to mention here is that not all solutions that allow you to move email from, let's say, Outlook into SharePoint extract metadata. So it's uh, quite important that you choose yourself a solution that does that, that has the capacity to go into the email item and extract metadata. As mentioned, the metadata later improves findability. And the, the metadata also enables the use of views, filters, and content types. So when I say views, let's say you have an email archive that's um, you've been archiving email in there for about a year's time. Um, if you have views that tap into the creation time of email, then you can very neatly sort your email into emails that you've received in Q1, Q2, Q3, or a certain month. Um, also, filters are enabled when you have good, good metadata, as you can filter for the right stuff that you're looking for. And, um, Content types I find uh, quite useful when it comes to, to email as the metadata attributed to an email is something that you want to tie to an email content type rather than having those columns available in your library overall. So the topic of email metadata extraction, quite an important topic as 
every email contains over 20 fields that could be extracted and then written to your destination archive, in this case, SharePoint. Um, for those metadata items after they've been extracted to be written to SharePoint, obviously the destination columns must be available in SharePoint. Um, Coligo does, uh, does provide a, a template for you uh, that's available on our website and our community pages that allows you to set up your library with the relevant columns, especially if you're planning to map to default column names. As mentioned before, it's, it's recommended to work with content types, views, and uh, also one thing that I consider or that I recommend to, to our users is that they replace folders with document sets. Reason for that is that you can set default metadata to a document set, and that takes us to the last point, which is the defaults in SharePoint. Um, most email management solutions can handle these defaults, and um, if you set defaults to a certain document set, then once you drag and drop an email to there, you don't have to set the metadata separately. Very good. Um, here are some resources for you to, to take a look at. Um, obviously, importing a, a document library template uh, here is, is quite important. And here's the link to the template, as I mentioned before. The end result of, of, of what we want to put in place is something like this. Um, so here you can see um, a SharePoint list. I can see here the, the content type of legal email is selected. Um, we have extracted the, the title of the email. We have some managed metadata that we want to add to the email um, in, in order to, to make it um, easier findable. And you can see here all those basic metadata, all the basic metadata that was extracted from the email itself. It's all there in SharePoint. And uh, obviously, when I'm searching for uh, something to do with the client, City of West Haven, um, or something to do with the matter I, ABC antitrust case, um, then I'll find this email easily. Very well. Uh, do feel free to reach out to, to us through the European SharePoint community, uh, but also reach out to Coligo directly. If you have any questions about this topic, we'll be very happy to help you and, and take you through setting up your libraries for email metadata extraction and also enabling you to extract your metadata. At this point, I'd like to thank you very much and wish you a very nice day.